it also adds that very human element to it mm-hmm. to where you're like you know they're they're just, at the end of the day they're just people mm-hmm. so am i and you can really relate to certain aspects of their story and be like yeah why can't that also be my story ladies and gentlemen welcome to the ecom growth show let's go All righty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Ecom Growth Show. We have a very exciting announcement for you today because we're shifting yep, gears. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, you know, as we kind of started this, there's been a few different ways we've been, we've actually delivered the content. We were for a while doing some behind the scenes stuff, uh, trying to bring you in as things were happening here at the office that that was not sustainable. That didn't work. Pretty soon we you were, were starting editing to- <laughs> way too much when we were doing that. And we were almost starting to make stuff up like, hey, look. Like, yeah, no, we no made, not we really. We made up client numbers, that's for sure. No, <laughs> no we didn't. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> but it's like, hey, let's let's call Patrick. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And get it on film totally. when we really didn't even need to get him on the line. So yeah. anyways, shifting it gears. It started to look more like a reality TV show. <laughs> yeah. And that was just a downhill. <laughs> that was spiraling. Yeah, it was spiraling fast. So then we went, we went from there to just uh, doing kind of what we're doing today. And that's, you know, sharing on topics that we're knowledgeable in, passionate about. Yeah. Sharing our own learning lessons, which is all great, all good and dandy. But it's still only Robbie and Daniel. Sometimes a little bit of Patrick, sometimes a little bit of, you know, other people on our team. But what we want to do, the direction we want to take with this is uh, bringing on people, heroes in the e-commerce world to tell their stories. For us to talk with them, to connect with them, to interview them and engage them on their journeys. And through that, what we're talking about today is the power of story. Wow, what a beautiful segue there. <laughs> I mean, that just was so seamless. It was smooth. It was smooth glide. Sorry, keep going. <laughs> no, you're good. So I just think, you know, there's there's so much power in, in a story. And that is the, re- the real reason we want to make the shift and start bringing on some guests is because, um, you know, without stories, we as humans, we'd be lost. Yeah. Stories have been around since the beginning of time and through telling stories, mankind has been able to share values, share learning lessons, share experiences so that each generation doesn't have to start over. Yeah. They're not starting from scratch. Stories unite people. They allow us to learn without actually uh, experiencing the consequences. Totally. And there's an emotional investment there too. When when somebody effectively tells their story, it, there's something about about it that just draws you in, gets you emotionally invested, and you're actually experiencing that as if you were there. Yeah. And the the lessons you learn from that are just as as powerful as if you experienced it yourself. Totally true. I want to speak a little bit to the power of story. I hope I'm not jumping around too much, but. If it wasn't for the power of story, I probably wouldn't be where I'm at today in Mm -hmm. this industry. Mm -hmm. Because it's when I saw what other people were doing that were just like me, what it seemed like, you know, from their story, I was like, dude, I can do that too. Mm -hmm. And I think that exists all around us. And what I'm excited about, it's kind of the transition you were talking about earlier, is to inspire our audience of other people that have gone before them in Mm -hmm. e-commerce that are just like them that have made it now yeah dude and that was actually perfect because that's my next bullet point it's stories carry power and potential so we i earlier before this i said everybody knows the story of roger banister and the four minute mile of dead (laughs) like nope don't know it but before he ran a four minute mile it was kind of like the common consensus that it was it was humanly impossible to do so yeah then he goes and he runs a four minute mile and now and now I can run a four minute mile. Yeah, anyone can run a four minute mile now. <laughs> no, but people were doing it kind of, you know, quite a few people were able to do it after that. After he, yeah. Because they got the belief that it actually was possible. And so stories how are the carry the power and potential yeah. for somebody to go out and, and do that again. And so in a business setting, in an e commerce setting, it's so so powerful. And you and I we we have a pretty 
healthy diet of um, educational material. We're always reading books, always listening to podcasts, stuff like that. Always trying to sharpen ourselves as, uh, as CEOs, whatever, co-founders of this company. Yeah. And most recently, where have we been getting most of our education from? Biographies. Uh, stories. Stories. Yeah. So what's so cool about that is it's not... Hey, first of all, real quick, don't ever quiz me live <laughs> like that. Because I, I was like, I don't know, Rob, where do we get, where are we getting this information? <laughs> but you, we but were, it's true. We were talking about it, and one thing you told me was that I love just reading a biography about somebody, you know, maybe Steve Jobs, Elon Musk. Yeah. And what it does for you is it's not this how-to manual, which we've read a lot of those before. There's lots of step-by-steps that teach you right. business principles and tell you this is how you do it, this is how you don't do it. It's not that. You actually get to join them in that story and you get to pick and choose what's valuable to you in your situation. Some of it's good. Some of it's bad. Some things you would do the same, some things you would do differently. It also adds that very human element to it, mm-hmm. to where you're like, you know, they're, they're just, at the end of the day, they're just people. Mm-hmm. So am I. And you can really relate to certain aspects of their story and be like, yeah, why can't that also be my story? Yeah, I love that. It, it humanizes the heroes. You can really, you, you just see yourself in their shoes and then you're like, oh, they just made... Uh, you know, series of decisions that I'm capable of making. And, yeah. and that's where they ended up because of it. But you yeah. would never know that if uh, without the story, you would never know that if they didn't share their story, but they told you, hey, you you can do this business. You just got to know these principles, these X, Y, Z, whatever. Yeah, totally. So there's power and potential in stories. Um, the other crazy thing about stories is that the stories we tell ourselves are extremely important yep. when it comes to they, they, they determine our reality. 100%. So the stories we tell ourselves about ourselves and, and the world around us really start to shape every decision you make. Yeah, because if you don't tell stories about yourself, other people will and you're going to believe their stories over your own story. And that's mm-hmm. where you can really get set back or off track if you don't have a good support system or people around you because people are always going to be trying to hold you back. So if you don't have this internal story about yourself going on and what you want to accomplish, mm-hmm. you'll just plateau or, you know, go backwards even and you won't be able to accomplish the things that you want to. Yeah. Belief systems live inside the stories we tell ourselves. Yeah. And if you're not intentional about controlling that narrative, you just inherit what you the stories your parents tell themselves yeah and then before that and so if you're not intentional about getting ahead of that you're you're never going to make progress from gen- one generation to the next yeah yep, yeah the same is true about the stories we tell ourselves about other people it determines the quality of connection that we have with them yeah so if you're always believing that the reason somebody did this is because they hate you they despise you it's probably not going to be a good relationship. <laughs> but if the story you tell yourself is more like, uh, you know, coming from giving them the benefit of the yeah. doubt, you know, this person loves me. They don't want to hurt me. It's going to create co- connection. Money comes to me. Yeah. Things happen for me, not against me. You know, there's there's all kinds of stories we tell ourselves yeah. that truly, truly determine our reality. And so... This is a short and sweet episode. It is, but real quick, Rob, are you going to go to the next point or are you wrapping no, it up? No, that's all my points. I was going to say, story relates so well uh, in business and marketing, mm-hmm. as well as culture building. Uh, a lot of our employees like us because of our, our story, where we came from, mm-hmm. what we do. You know, that's it's it's different from other people, but we're very kind of loud proud about our story Mm -hmm. but also we try to pull that out of our clients their story because that actually separates them in the marketplace and that's Mm -hmm. what other people are drawn to Mm -hmm. so story within marketing is same thing very powerful and is what draws people in to your brand or your store Mm -hmm. because it's something other people might have very similar products but no one has your story Mm -hmm. so if you can really play on that and put that on the marketplace to bring in other people that will relate to that it's a winning combo you know what's interesting about that is a good story 
demands vulnerability and it actually demands that you share the low point because nobody nobody likes yeah. a story about a hero whose life has been peachy no no one likes peachy you got to share the whole story yeah and a victory story is what people are drawn to and so a lot yeah. of people they try to hide their failures they try to hide their low points right uh, it's just so powerful for a business in the market to be able to effectively share their story and invite people to join them in their mission um you know through through that yep. it, you win customers over like crazy 100 percent, dude i wish i had a, a big failure to share right now no we, we all gotta to wrap it one. up gotta wrap it up all right guys so stay tuned we're really really excited about this we have uh you know a whole list of people that we want to get on here we've never done that process before so we'll see how it goes how willing yeah. people are to hop on here uh, hopefully we can get them scheduled and just start bringing people on continue to add value to your guys' lives i know for me i'm, I'm really excited uh yeah, we, ha we have a ton of clients with amazing stories and so yeah. even just to to get those people on here and hear more more about that and uh derive all those things from it you know yeah values experiences learning lessons all of that that's what we want this podcast to be about let's go <laughs> So stay tuned for the journey, guys. I've never said this before, but hey, like it, subscribe it, share it, rate it. We're just starting to like really publish this. We've been dilly dallying for a while, um, but you guys know how these things grow. Why don't you help us out if you like what you hear? Help us out a little. <laughs> All right, guys. See you Catch guys. you later.